Welcome to this episode. In this episode, we are going to talk about Ketchell's current law. Ketchell's current law. So this is our first law we are encountering in applied electricity. Ketchell's current law. So straight away, what does this law state? Now, Ketchell's current law is saying that the algebraic sum of current entering or leaving a node at any instant is zero. Now we know what a node is from our previous episode. So when we consider any node, what Ketchoff is saying is the algebraic sum of current entering that node or leaving that node is zero at any instant. Are we okay? And the second point we are trying to say the current flowing into a node must be equal to the current flowing out of it. So the law, you can take the understanding this way, that the algebraic sum of current entering or leaving is zero. Or you can take it that current entering a node is equal to current flowing out of what? The node. And this is what we mean. From the first point, we are saying the algebraic sum of currents I at a node is equal to zero. Are we okay? So if we have a node, say, so a node, the point where two or more what branches meet. So let's, this is our node. So say current I1. This has current I2, and this is also entering as current I3. So here we can see that I1 and I2, this current are moving away from what? The node. And I3 is moving towards the node. Here, what Ketchoff is saying is anytime we sum these three currents, they are going to give us what? Zero, the algebraic sum. Now, if we want to use the algebraic sum, we are going to take into consideration the direction of the currents. The direction of what? The currents. Is it going in or it is coming out? So mostly I am going to take current entering as what? Positive. And current leaving the node as what? Negative. So that here for this, if I say the algebraic sum of this current is zero, then those I1 is leaving the node, which is negative I1, the algebraic sum plus current I2, it is also leaving the node, negative I2, and I3 is entering plus I3 should give me what? Zero. Are we okay? So this is the Ketchell's what? Law an expression for this node. Let's look at another node. So if I have this, this is a node and I have my current I1. I have my current I2. Then I have my current I3. How do we write it? So here I'm going to use the algebraic sum of all the current is zero. So I have to take into consideration the direction. Current I1, you can say those entrants should be negative and those living should be positive, depending on what you want to do. So current I1 is entering the node. So I'll call it positive current. Now current I2 is also entering the node plus I2 positive. Then current I3 is leaving the node, so it is a negative current. So this should give me zero from Ketchoff's current law. Are you okay? Or if you want to say the algebraic or the number of current flowing into the node is equal to those flowing out of the node, this is what we are also going to write. We can use the idea of current entering is equal to current leaving. Let's write an equation for that. So this is point one, or summation of current 
entering inside or let's use current entering that would be quite easy summation of i the current entering or inside is equal to the summation of the current out for a node that's for a, a node so from this first node let's look at this we can say that the current entering we saw that current entering is what i3 is equal to current living that's i2 plus i1 that's what we mean when we look at the second diagram we can say current inside which is i1 plus i2 is also entering should be equal to the some the current living which is i3 so you can choose any of the form and remember when you make it this we can still get to i1 plus i2 minus i3 is equal to zero the same thing are you okay so this is the catch off current law very easy when you take a particular node make sure that if you assign the direction of current those entering should be equal to those living or the summation of those living and entering where you must take into consideration your positive and negative is equal to zero let's look at an example now we have this node this is a node we are to find the current i4 in the figure if i1 is 4 amperes i2 is negative 5 amperes and i3 is 1 Ampere. Are you okay? So, solution. So, at the node, what we are going to say is at the node, we are going to apply Ketchell's current law. This says summation of current inside a node is equal to summation of current that is flowing outside a node. Or this law is saying the summation of all the current at a node is equal to what? Zero. So let's apply any of them and solve this problem. So first I'll use the algebraic sum of all the currents to be equal to zero. Now I'll consider those inside or those inwards as what? My positive current. And I'll consider those outside, those leaving the node as what my negative currents. So algebraic sum of all the currents should be equal to zero. So I1, looking at the direction of I1, it is leaving the node. So it is what? A negative I1. I1, I2 is entering. So it is what? Positive I2. Now, I3 is also entering, which is positive I3. I4 is leaving, which is negative I4. And this will sum to what? Zero. Now, what is the value for I1? The current is what? 4 amperes. So that is going to be negative 4. I2, which is what? Negative 5 plus negative 5. I3, which is 1. So that is plus 1 i4 that's what we are looking for minus i4 is equal to zero now when you perform your analysis this is going to be one negative nine plus one minus i4 equal to zero so this is going to be what eight minus what negative eight minus i4 is equal to zero if you make i4 the subject you're going to get I4 is equal to what? Negative 8 amperes. Are we okay? So, from this node, I4 is what? Negative 8 amperes. Negative 8 amperes. So, let's look at this if it is true. Such that summation of current inside the node should be equal to current outside. 
So those inside, those coming inwards of the node, that is I2 and I3. So I2 plus I3 should be equal to those living, which is I1 plus I4. Is that true? I2 is negative 5 plus I3, which is 1. Should be equal to I1, which is 4. And we saw that I4 is what? Negative 8 plus negative 8. So this will give you what? Negative 4. This will also give you negative 4. So current inside is equal to current what? Outside. So our solution is correct. This for example 1. Now example 2. The same catch off current law. We have this node and we have current I1, I2, I3, I4. We are to find I4 and its direction. We don't know the direction of what? I4. So let's try to find I4 and its direction. So solution. So this is a node, current node. So we are going to apply Kirchhoff's current law, which says any of them can be used summation of current at a node is equal to what? Zero. At a node. So here we are going to sum all the current, but still I'm going to say those inwards of what? The node should be positive. And those current that are what? Outwards should be negative. So knowing this, I'll consider I1. Now I1 is what? In the direction entering the node, which is positive what? I1. Is that true? So I1 is positive. Now I2, looking at I2, it is leaving the node. That's negative I2. I3 is also leaving the node. That is negative I3. I4, we don't know the direction, so we assume a positive what? I4. It will come out by itself, which is equal to what? Zero. The algebraic sum. Now, I1 is what? 20. Then I2 is what? 8, which is negative 8. I3 is 1, negative 1, plus I4 is equal to 0. Now, when you perform your analysis, you are going to say this is what? 11 plus I4 equal to 0. Now, I4 should be equal to negative 11 amperes. So, meaning I4 is negative 11 amperes. Negative in the sense that it is moving outwards of the node. So this is it. Are we okay? It is moving out, which is 11 amperes moving out. Is that true? This negative is showing us that it is moving out of the node. Let's see if it is true. So using the summation of current inwards should be equal to summation of current outwards. Those inwards are, we can see, it is only I1 which is entering the node. So I1 should be equal to I2 is outwards plus I3 is living. And from our solution, we saw that I4 is also living. So I1 is 20 should be equal to I3 or I2, which is what, 8, I3, which is plus 1, and I4, which is what, plus 11. Why are we saying plus 11? All these currents were positive, so the negative sign here was just to say this I4 is in the opposite direction. It is leaving the nodes. That's why here we are saying it is positive, what, 11. Okay, so here 20 should be equal to, when you sum all this, you are going to get 20. So meaning the rule is what? Established here. Very simple. Now, let's look at the third example. 
which is also very simple. We have a node here and we have to find I4 and we will also look at the direction. So this is I1, I2, I3, our solution at the node. So at the node from KCL, Ketchup's current law, summation of current is zero at the node or summation of current inward should be equal to summation of current work outward so any of them will work now let's use those inwards as positive those leaving as what negative so from i1 it is entering the node which is what positive so positive i1 i2 is entering positive i2 and i3 is also leaving negative i3 now i4 will be here you see the current will be here but we don't know the direction so let's say positive i4 should be equal to zero now i1 is 4 i2 that is 2 plus i3 is also what a 2 positive 2 so negative 2 here plus i4 equal to zero now we are going to get 4 plus i4 equal to zero and our i4 is negative 4 amperes so meaning i4 is leaving the node by 4 is leaving the node are you okay so this is i4 negative 4 amperes or let's look at summation of i in equal to summation you can verify your answer by this i out looking at this those entering is i1 plus i2 those living is i3 plus i4 and that is going to give us i1 is 4 i2 is also 1 2 equal to i3 which is 2 plus i4 which is what also 4 and you can see that 6 amperes should be equal to 6 amperes thank you for watching this episode subscribe to the channel like drop your comments and let's see what we are doing check out for the next episode on catch voltage law law thank you